Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. It looks really cool when I switch the overlay at the same time that the bouncing ball is visible, so I'll try to do that in the future. Good luck. A fourth file rook player, huh? What do they play against this? Fourth file rook, right? Nope. Alright, that's fine. I don't know what to do against this kind of aggression. So today we play this cowardly move. In the future, maybe I'll research what to do. But that seems pretty aggressive to me. Well, hang on. If you're closing this diagonal, surely I can open it. Right? Surely this has got to be fine for me. There we go. My king is safe, and pressure is applied. Hmm. <laughs> Get the king out of here. Truly. Did I miss this? Should I have pushed this pawn last turn? I'm confused. Wait, that blocks the defense of this, but I don't have an easy way to exploit that. Um... I guess this is my most reasonable play. It looks kind of weird. Alright, so I defend against the rook file, and then I drop back. How far back do I drop? Back to here, I think is the smart way to go. And then my silver moves up. And don't walk into a fork, don't walk into a fork. This looks okay. Don't walk into a fork. Welcome. Don't walk into a fork. 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 So far, I'm doing okay. Just a wee bit concerned that I might, you know, walk into a fork. As I do. Um, hmm. What is this knight doing? It's threatening to move here, but it has to go through here first. Wait, if I drop a bishop, they'd have to use the square. No matter where I drop it, but they'd put a pawn on the square and I'm not going anywhere. If I drop it here, the rook moves over one. Which is whatever it is. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, I think targeting the lance... Yes. That's today's proverb. Don't walk into a fork. Yeah, trying to target the pawn to hit the rook and all that seems pretty complicated. Let's aim for a lance instead. There is a proverb, don't run from a fork. Um, and, you know, it's easier to just not be in a fork situation in the first place than to try to escape one. I could take this knight, and then take the silver. Like that, there's another proverb that says just take the stuff, you know? Um, 
So unless there's something better, surely we take the no. Everything else sucks, so we take this, and this is fine. This looks totally fine and normal, actually. I mean, yeah, it's weird giving up a bishop, and I don't like doing it, but this looks fine. Nana fun. So that's how we say no to a rook. I mean, yeah, it's severely discomforting having everything floating about like this, but we did our best. Hmm. I mean... It's just not easy. They have two bishops. The bishop's the piece I need to watch out for. Moving the knight is spooky, but I think I'm set, so we'll see just how mistaken I am in a second. But I think I'm fine. I miss that. All right, show us punishment divine. What have what are all the things I've missed? Um Hmm. The point of this, their objective is to get me to block my rook. Their other objective is to take this point. I can't really stop both objectives there. Still... I don't know that this works the way they imagined. I'm not sure about that. That's the move I missed. Hey, look, I'm in a fork. Go who, could, who could have imagined? Um, is the fork lethal? That's the next question. That's a check. Then they take here. Okay. My expectations can continue to be defied. So <laughs> okay, what's the point? Always have a purpose. <laughs> 
They want the silver? That's all this is about. They can have it. I thought they wanted my king. Ah, oh, they took this gold general. Very observant. Eh, this is extremely a mess. Something. Um. There's no way to recover this. We'll try to save the silver, and in so doing, lose the knight and the lance. Although we do have a fork here. Okay, they take another knight. That doesn't seem as well advised as the first thing, but sure. Who am I to judge at this point? I think they're considering some kind of night drop thing somewhere. This is so messy. Look, my rook next to the king is doing nothing. And that's kind of impossible to... Well, maybe I could have held on to the bishop. But this position looked like such a disaster. And trying something like this seemed like my most palatable option. Um, maybe I was mistaken. We're sacking the rook, guys. Um, yeah, that's happening. To try to save my king. My aim is slightly off because the king's not on this square. They have knights. We'll see how resilient this mess is. It's not looking super resilient at the moment. Um, but who knows? I'm trying to get this general to move away from my castle. Or remove it. If I had a knight, 
That'd be great. They're holding three knights in hand, and the fourth knight's in the corner. So odds of getting a knight entirely depend on their play. Um, that's fine. Yeah, this is confusing as heck. Um, let's try that. It seems doomed, but let's try it. Hmm. Oh, should have pushed this pawn. Since there's a fork. Should have pushed this pawn. Although this pawn push doesn't do jack. Let's pretend it does. Thanks for the game. So close. Maybe next time. I'll play better. Good luck. I was trying to click the, toward the end of the game, not just shuffle my mouse around. I don't know why the click, the cursor, or whatever, wasn't accepting um, my input. But it didn't matter, because I didn't have enough time to win anyway. That looks decent. 
That looks like I've got pressure on the opponent's position. That looks interesting. Um... Okay. That looks like an extraordinary amount of pressure is built up. Mm, pushing this, they exchange, they take. Where's my fork? Uh, this probably looks right. Yeah, I think the reason I was coming back is because my opponent saw the time situation and decided they didn't care about playing good moves anymore. Um, and they're not wrong. Like, if the timer already decides the game, why do you need to win the game two different ways? Why bother playing good moves at that point? You could say something about good habits, bad habits, whatever, but if you've already won the game, does it really matter? Well, one of us has a horse, one of us does not. Yeah, maybe my king is not safe or something like that. Something, something millennium. But, um, that's probably fine. Um, a horse does well next to my king. Although pushing this looks really tempting. But discretion's the better part of valor. Like, why enter a lost situation? Let's defend the lance before I lose to some 5-5 five -five fork. Hmm. I continue debating, do I retreat the horse immediately, or do I push this first? I think it depends what our opponent does, or my opponent does. So, that, to me, looks like I'm forced to respond. I respond to it. What's the next move? Oh, also, if the horse retreats, I could still push this pawn, couldn't I? At the very least, something's going to happen. Oh, never mind. Apparently, defense is optional in Shogi. Um, who knew? If you just play the right attacking moves, why should you ever need to defend? Um... Regardless, there's my attempt to hold this position together. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to consider where that bishop moves next. Like, yeah, that hits a pawn. Yes, this aims toward my king. But pieces move in straight lines. Pieces like have finite squares they're capable of moving to. Uh, I guess this bishop drop prevents me from pushing the pawn twice. But 
I can cut off this bishop here. Uh, it has to retreat, and it's not going to want to retreat. Actually, I haven't even considered what does this mean in terms of how do they block my attack. That perhaps is the far more interesting point. The opponent's thinking about it now. Yeah, if they move a gold up, I could drop on the gold's head, and it has to keep moving forward. But then I can start exchanging pieces, and both kings are under attack. Um, but also, if they move the gold up, I could push the pawn up and then drop a pawn here. And, like, they can't stop me. They could move the king away, but... Yeah, if they push this up, and if I were crazy enough to drop my pawn here, they'd have to continue responding to my threats. So they're reading out this variation where I play crazy stuff, and they're not having any of it. Understandably. Um, whereas all I wanted to do was just cut off the bishop. So now this bishop can't go anywhere. Um, okay, they hit this square twice. I could defend it a second time, if I really want to. Nanafun. Do I want to defend that? Maybe. Um, let's get this in first. Um, yeah, I think somebody mentioned it on the Sunday program. Um, but otherwise, didn't really get much notice. Um, at least that's how I think it was received. Oh, if I go back, then I'm losing this pawn. Maybe I don't want to go back then. Hmm. Okay, let's just continue invading. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that comes as much surprise in retrospect. Um. But... Yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, I'll defend this again. Yeah. Hmm. Tradition. What can be said? If there's a traditional way of announcing things, and if everything that's official goes through the uh, like traditional way of things being announced, it's kind of difficult to announce new things. So, uh, it's just it is what it is. Um. All right, so our opponent is doing a good job defending. Well done, opponent. Now they're going to put up a counterattack here pretty soon. Um, and my position is super weird. Go food. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Even with such a nice position. Let's just put the bishop on an open line. That seems like a reasonable thing to try. Oh, it actually it hits this square that's I'm now hitting three times. Uh, we'll pretend I did that on purpose. Um... 
Do I push now? Silver takes, gold takes. Eh, it's kind of a mess. Eh, I don't know. If I go here, they can push this pawn and I trap their bishop. Um, seems okay. Yeah, they could drop a pawn up here, and I'd have to take it, and it's such a mess. Pushing this pawn looked interesting, but I didn't think it worked, because they have the rook and the bishop and everything else ready to defend, so... I think it would be a bit over-eager if I were to do something quite like that. I don't understand. Oh. Okay, so this is their point. Oh no, my stuff is attacked. Whatever will I do? Um. Hmm. I mean, taking the rook doesn't look bad. Let's try this. I'm going to try this before they take the center pawn. Um, hmm. Something. This is a tough decision, actually. The ballsy... well, <laughs> there's a lot of moves to consider. Um, let's put my horse somewhere useful. A really bold move... well, okay. Push? Oh my goodness. Not sure, not sure that I have checkmate here. Push. Shit, I don't know, man. We gotta try this, right? This could be horribly flawed, but it looks too interesting. This horse is not in a good spot. Let's remove it. Nifun. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness I double clicked on the correct half of that. My mouse sometimes double clicks and sometimes it clicks the wrong one. Um. This is kind of incredible. Um, I 
Sure, let's try that. Why not? How can I lose this? I could lose it on time. Ipun. Can I seriously get checkmated here? I was so certain that I was safe. Uh, let's see. I was so certain. Maybe once in a while I should defend my king, so we don't have situations like this. But if we did that, then we'd have content. If I actually bothered to defend my king, would we get content like this? Also, it's not clear to me even now what's going on. Hmm? 20秒. Yeah, I don't know what to do to that. Two down, one to go. Good luck. I see some of my audience members wish they were playing that game. And are giving advice as to how my opponent could have considered playing that game differently. But you guys aren't the one playing the game. It's my game. They're wishing that only, like, if only they had been playing Shogi this day. Mm -hmm. 
Eh, we let the games play themselves. Good moves happen, bad moves happen. It's fine. <laughs> That's such helpful advice. How much do you charge people for that advice? Wait, maybe I shouldn't ask. Uh, all right. Hmm. Okay, we're going to build this super weird castle in the heat of the moment. Because it seems kind of fun to build. There we go. That's a castle, right? And then we just tuck the gold over here. Totally normal. We'll call it like Enchanted Castle or something. Alright, so... I don't know, man. Like, what the hell do I do here? Let's bring this up, I guess. And then... That seems like a move. Maybe. I don't know. Mm hmm This castle is so bad. What have I done? <laughs> this is so, so bad. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, so... I should have pushed this. I was having too much fun. Alright. Uh, this one. Sure. That looks good. <laughs> this is Nimu Castle. Uh, I think Nimu would have to explain if this is Nimu Castle. I don't think I'm qualified to judge what is or isn't Nimu Castle. Oh, hey, look, they're joining us on this wonderful journey. Uh, also, this was hanging, but I was not paying attention. <sighs> From a moral perspective, just given my inattention this game, I'm kind of wanting to resign just on the morals. But, um, no, we could play the game. Or whatever's left of this game to be played could still be played out. Hmm. This is so bad. <laughs> All right, maybe I sack to take this piece. That could be fun, right? I mean, nothing sound here, but, um, hmm. Nanafun. Wait, they just trapped their bishop. I could give them a bishop that would completely explode my king. Maybe I don't do that. Um, there we go. That protects everything, right? They, <laughs> they're forcing me to play the move that I was trying to play. All right. This is interesting. I mean, yeah, my idea was to drop a pawn as soon as I forced the bishop to move up. So, like, my idea doesn't work. Um... Let's try to attack here. Alright. Oh, I just lost a tempo. This is, morally speaking, just 
I don't know. One of my more <laughs> worst games. Um, I'm just completely not paying attention to anything. Um, but maybe that's fun this way. Maybe this is the way you play Shogi Wars, is you just, like, screw around for ten minutes. I don't know. <sighs> Tactical shots were missed, but hey, now I've got a silver drop. They're panicking about the silver drop. I guess what in, half of what inspires this game is time zones. I'm sure if I were playing when the moon were high in the sky, uh, my moves would probably look something like this. Um. Okay. I defend my gold and protect my 5-5 five five pawn. Incidentally, well, no, I don't have tons of incidental threats here. That looks really scary. If I do silver takes, how dead am I when they drop the silver here? Take to, uh, if I'm counting correctly, I'm not dead. Oh, they could take back, though, with this rook instead of dropping there. Um, just defend it again. Maybe there's some crazy combination of tactics that I've missed here. It'd be cool if a silver drop on 4-9 spelled my demise. Silver king takes and then they do something there, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, wait, I miscounted. That's not good. That's ultra mega super not good. All right, so what now? Thankfully, I'm not dead. Um, Go home. Well, no, they win my rook if I don't take this. If I do take this, they win my king. That's fine. It's just a king. All right. It's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Just my king. But no, I'm looking at this silver drop and thinking this could still be interesting. So we've certainly entered a mutual attack phase of the game. And everything's hanging. That is check. Uh, the impulsive move is probably the right one, but maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. They promote down there. I give up. No, I. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this knight is actually going to be useful. Maybe my enchanted castle will actually save my king. Hmm. What? What's that? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
That's just a rook. Oh, hang on. Silver drop. Wait, no, that doesn't mate, though. No, they have to go this way. And since they're going this way, that gives me a tempo. Um... Hmm. We deny Rook here. Rook could go either of these two squares to promote, but it cannot go there. Or they could sack a Rook here to promote the other Rook. Yeah, that's legal. It's not so impressive because... They're going to block the bishop for a turn. Mm -hmm. Nifun Sanjubio. Alright, this has basically no chance of survival, but we'll try it anyway. Hmm. So they completely shut down my attack. Oh. Wait, no. All the, all the typical checkmates I spot are just one square away from being an actual mate. It's just my pieces are slightly off-center enough here to deal with the mate in one threats. Silver drop. Leads to an indefensible threat. Does this work? Oh, of course this works. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for the game. All done. All right. Uh, let's put that behind us. Hope you enjoyed. I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.